I met him about 16 years ago, really on a social basis. And a few years ago, he came to my daughter's wedding and said to me that he was looking at dentistry in India. And what did I think? And we sat for a week and looked at the challenges and he explained to me that his vision was to be the biggest and the best dental group in India. And I think the reason that he was telling me this is that we in Belron believe we've built the biggest and the best group, automotive glass group. As Amar explained, it's across 33 countries, there's 3.6 billion, 26,000 employees, and it works on a very, very strong ethical basis. And I said we would need to raise money for this. And one of the big differences between this sort of press conference and others is we're not looking to raise money. We're really here to celebrate the exciting venture of the integration of dentees and club. Because just the next step in our 600 clinic vision. So the investors in Global Dental, our company is called Global Dental, and it's also quite an interesting company in this sense. Firstly, when you look at the board of directors of Global Dental, you've got me, Amar, you've got Scott Bayman that you saw on the video. Scott was the chief executive of General Electric in India, so he understands India, he understands business. 14 years he was here. Then you've got guys like Dr. Mukarun, tremendous dental experience in Texas, where he runs a couple of dental or a few dental clinics. And then Dr. Doshi, who's our most recent uh, investor. And what is really nice about having these different people is that none of them are investment bankers. None of them are lenders. Each one had to invest personally. Because we took the view that the people we deal with must not be separated from their money by advisors, by accountants, by lawyers. They must be able to speak themselves. And we also took a view that it didn't matter how long it took, we were not in a rush, we would select our investors on what I call the pipe value. That's, they must be patient, intelligent, passionate, and ethical. Just those four things. And if one was missing, we were very polite, but we said we're oversubscribed. And we would not take anybody who was in it for the short term. And that was really helpful because in many cases, as Amar was growing quickly with his team, we said, please don't worry about whether we're able to raise the funds. Please worry about raising the resources, the level, the quality. We know when we were just a few clinics, we wanted the very best dental leader we could get. And we got him. We had to wait because he was still in the army. He was busy. So we had to wait for him. But eventually, he came. We made sure we got a gentleman who's not here today, Nabanit Samiba. But this applies throughout the organization. And of course it's more expensive, you know, to get heavyweight people. But I can tell you it's worth it. Because they bring with them integrity and experience. So, Dr. Doshi, for example, we had, bearing in mind he runs, uh, I think, 130 clinics, or he built 130 clinics in the United States, and imaging cent centers, he is very experienced as a businessman, but also as a dentist and as someone who was born in India. So he understands the culture, he understands dentistry, and he understands business. That's quite rare in one person. He came to see our clinics on a Thursday, Friday. Saturday morning he flew to London with Omar to meet me. Sunday morning we had breakfast. Monday morning he invested a very large sum of money. No discussion. And those are the sorts of people that endorse the, the kind of model. So the question you might ask is, on what basis do we invest? And we invest 
on the basis of what drives our dentists. And what drives our dentists is the best patient care. And that's what we're looking for, and that's what we're doing. So when we came across, we've had many approaches with many, as you would imagine, many sellers of businesses. This is the first one that we've integrated. Because as Dr. Shaker said, it's a, a, the value system worked very well. So I think the bottom line is the investment is not what we're looking for. What we're looking for to, to ensure we've got the best dentists to give our patients the best care and our investors think the same way. They are people, not institutions. So I'm very happy to take questions whenever you're ready.